In this video today, I'm going to show you how you can power boost your development by 10x using Cursor AI and the MCP servers. Now, an MCP server is a model context protocol. You can actually think of it as providing context to any LLM that you're working on. Maybe you're using Cloud 3.7 Sonnet or any other LLM. Now, this MCP server will give context to that LLM and it's like a cable that can connect different multiple tools together so i know that the theory part is a bit tricky so we're gonna dive right into it and i'm gonna show you how you can set up two of the most powerful mcp servers according to me inside your cursor ai so let's dive right in and let's get started with this video hi and welcome back to skill cup this is hosham race and we're here at the cursor ai's website now for those of you who are new to cursor ai you can just hit download here and download this locally on your machine they have a free plan as well and this is an absolute masterpiece now once you're inside cursor let me zoom in a bit you can go to file down here in the preferences you can go to the cursor settings and you can go to the features here and if you scroll down, you will see MCP servers. Now, this is what this whole video is going to be about. So let's get started with adding our first MCP server. For that, we're going to need the server name, the type, and the server URL. And to get these MCP servers, you can go to a website like Symmetry, which is an open source website. And you can go ahead and choose any of these MCPs. But the MCP that I want to go with is GitHub. Because this is one of the most used platform by coders worldwide. And it is the most powerful tool that you can have in your arsenal whether it's version control or managing your repos now down here in the installation you have to choose your editor whether it's cursor windsurf client i'm just gonna go with cursor here and here you will have to paste in your github personal ss token and how you're gonna get it so i have created a new github account right here as you can see there's not a single repo on this account and i'm gonna show you how you can even create repos using cursor ai so let's go ahead and click here go to your settings and all the way down here go to developer settings and here you see something like personal ss token click here and you can choose the fine grain token and i'm just going to generate one right there and i'm going to have to enter my password now once you authorize you'll have to name this token so this is going to be the github mcp for cursor of course i'm just going to name it something that i can remember later on as for the expiration you can choose anything i'm just going to go with seven days because i'm just testing this out now next thing is the permissions or the access so if you're using your main github account i would highly suggest that you give it as minimum permissions as possible but this is just a new account that was created just for this video so i'm just going to go with all repositories as for repository permissions i'm just going to click here and here you can give it access to different actions and this is totally up to you which permission you want to give it so i'm just going to go ahead and give it a couple of permissions here and as for the account permission i don't want to actually give it any account permissions because this is strictly for coding purposes so let's just leave it at that and i'm going to generate the token right there now once you have your fine grain personal ss token just copy this go back to smithry and here you will have to paste in that personal token that you just generated but keep in mind this you do at your own risk although smithry is an open source platform but again if you're using your main github account i would highly suggest that you be careful because nothing is 100 percent secure over the internet so i'm just gonna paste in my token right here and generate command we'll generate the command through which you can install your mcp server and you can choose the windows one here because i'm running on windows if you're using mac or linux you can go ahead with this one now back here in cursor settings i'm gonna go ahead and say add new mcp I'm going to name this as github and as for the type it's going to be command most of the mcps out there are going to be command type but some are ssc but here i'm just going to go ahead and paste in the command let's go ahead and add this so it's going to take some time to initiate and install not that long but let's just wait for it so there you go we have our mcp server right there i'm going to go ahead with my first prompt i'm going to say create a new github repo named and here i'm going to name it maybe skill curve youtube and maybe i want to add a readme.md file in this repo so i'm just going to go ahead and say also add a readme.md file into this repo and in the file give a brief intro about skill curve there you go and that's all i have to do as soon as i send this it's going to call the mcp server github from here and it's going to create a new repo push that to my github account right here and as you can see i don't have any repositories on this account so let's go ahead and click send here so there you go it starts with i'll create a new github repo named skillcup youtube and it calls the mcp2 and here it creates a new repo then it goes and creates the readme.md file and is adding the data in the readme file and here you have the summary it has successfully created a new github repo 
and added a comprehensive readme.md file and the repo is available at this url right here but we can go ahead to my github account and right here if i reload this i should see a new github repo popping up right here as you can see it's actually here let's click here and see if we have yes we have the readme.md file here which is about skillcurb youtube the repo and here we have a small intro about skillcurb and what we offer and this is actually accurate information also we have some connect with us links here this is really powerful and honestly speaking only this mcp server can boost up your productivity up to 10x speed but again as i've been doing web dev for quite a long while now i always find it really hard to debug the front end and the console logs and everything so for that we have another mcp which is this agent Desk browser tools i'm going to paste in the link in the description so you don't need to worry about that and down here in the installation section you just have to follow these steps to set this up i have already cloned this you can click here and paste this inside your terminal to clone this repo and then you can go ahead and activate the chrome extension and for that let's just open up a new tab click on three dots here go to extensions down here manage extensions and here you will have to keep the developer mode on if you keep this off you cannot set up an extension from your local computer so i'm just going to keep this on and you can click on load and pad and here you can choose up the extension folder like right here once you clone this repo and you can select this folder and you will see that your mcp tool is online now once you set up your extension the next step is if you scroll down here you will have to set this up in your cursor setting for that you just have to go back to your cursor and here you will have to go to mcp add a new mcp server name it as browser tools and then you can choose your operating system from here i'm running on windows so let's copy this go back here paste in the command and add that this will add your browser tools mcp right inside your cursor and once this is up and running i'm going to show you why i wanted this so here you can see that it has tools like get console logs get console errors so we can pretty much debug everything that's happening on the browser and the console and what i mean by that so if you go to any websites or the website that you create and you click on f12 you can see the console and the elements right here so let's say i have all these errors and warnings popping up in the console but i want to debug them so back here inside my cursor i'm just going to go ahead and say get the console logs and explain the errors and warnings to me and that's all you need to do it's going to go ahead and call the mcp tool for you and it's going to grab all the console logs from the active tab that you're working on right now and there is a way to verify whether your browser tools mcp is running or not so if you can see here browser tool mcp started debugging this browser and you can go ahead and cancel this but we're not gonna do that so there you go it's checking the console logs so it's checking for network errors it's scanning all the logs and it gave me what these console errors are about and what are the impacts of it what are the potential solutions and the possible causes as well this is really powerful so let's say i want to change the color of this text here I'm just going to go ahead and click on it and I'm going to go back to my cursor AI. So here I'm going to say find the color of the selected element. Also give me the hex code for a red bright color to replace that color. So it's going to go ahead and return this hex code to me. This is the actual color of this text here and it's going to give me a replacement or an alternative color for it to replace actual. So this is how you can select any element and tell cursor you want to change the padding or you want to change the margin or you want to change the whole layout and it's going to do that for you i'm in love with these mcps and highly suggest you guys to try out these mcps but again these mcps are developed by random people over the internet so try these at your own risk but to be quite frank these popular mcps with thousands of downloads are really not that unsafe but if you go ahead and install some mcp which only has a couple of downloads i don't think so that's a good idea but again the decision is yours so with that said i want to wrap this video up in this video, we explored how powerful Cursor MCP servers are and I showed you how you can boost up your development speed by 10x by installing two of the most powerful MCPs according to me. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button, share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.